There's not much going on in Converse on a Saturday morning, much less following a brutal week of winter. But one constant through any season is Dan Summers, showing up and opening up for more than half a century at the shop he started in 1960. I'm used to coming here. I just don't feel like it's right if I don't. Dan is a barber, not a stylist, not a clipper. And once inside, you know it's a barber shop where men used to line up to spiff up. Used to. You know, a lot of people just don't, they don't care. They don't care about their hair, really. And they don't care about how they dress. You all set? Yeah. So now he might see three or four customers on a Saturday. They'll get the full treatment, though. Absolutely nothing state-of-the-art. Because the old tools and the craftsmen are still sharp and the price is right. What they also get is a friend. Dan can tell you about the barbers mentioned in the Old Testament, really. He was shaved and bathed. About how Floyd the barber didn't really cut hair on the old Andy Griffith show. You could tell the way he handled his tools. And the little problem with the barber pole on the plaque Converse gave him at 50 years of business. The high side is always to the right. Dan didn't get it wrong outside. You still look nice and handsome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he's the town's longest serving businessman. And at 86, he's still cutting. Sure, thank you, Tom. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate it. The shop, the town, the customers, their home and life. I lost my wife just a couple of years ago. And when I'm down at the house by myself, it's just it's lonely. When I come up here every day, I see somebody I can talk to or can talk to me. And it just helps make the time go. A snapshot of memories and a throwback that's not just a photo, but a real shop, real service. And the most real thing here is the barber himself. I know. My time's going to run out. I've got a lot to be thankful for.